Hello, hello, everybody. What's going on, guys? Hello, 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 hello. What's up, my friends? I hope everybody's doing well, doing good. All right. We are live. Give me a second here. There you go. You guys should be able to see it now. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Hello, Paper Mushroom. Hello, Yugi. Hello, Magic. Hello, Gina. Hello, Ozzy. What's up, guys? We're going to play some spooky games here. We're going to play some um, Doom 3. I'm really in the mood to see if we kill some monsters here if you guys haven't played doom 3 it's a really good game i definitely recommend it so yeah let's do it so i'm only gonna do this for a month just to show some love because i love the damn material <laughs> so let's do it we're gonna play on veteran that's what i want to play on hey stoopy hello steffi i hope the volume level's okay guys hope the mic's okay so let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is the more scarier version of Doom, I believe, in my opinion. The new one is more rushed. This is more slow paced, darker. You get to see the old school graphics. Dang, Paper Mushroom, I appreciate that, man. Everyone hashtag Paper Mushroom in the chat. Even if it's for one month, I don't care. Thank you very much, buddy. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and spam those emotes as well. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000. Set speed. Contact Hi, Ryan. How you doing, handsome? Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate that. That's awesome. How's everybody doing tonight? Gina, how are you? Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. I'm Tower, doing good. Dark Star on final. There it is, Paper Mushroom. Dark Star, Thank you for becoming a member. Meal with it, people. Welcome to the Taco Supreme, my friend. For one month, it's fine. <laughs> I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired. 
tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. I'm doing You're good, Gina. Control. Thank you for asking. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what Ooh, it takes, my beautiful Miju is, is here. Hey, Miju, how are ya? Welcome to Mars, Marine. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares. The sleepy lurk, sleep away. I'll see you soon. Go to okay, sleep. Let me get Beautiful me, Jew. <laughs> You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. I'm holding still. I'm holding still. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. And I'm happy you're here too, Paper. I'm happy Welcome you're here to too. Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get mm -hmm. clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. Look at the hands, the old I school see hands. Here that Sergeant <laughs> Kelly all has square. requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the sign. <laughs> the old school fingers. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. They look extra soft. You think so? <laughs> Because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. <coughs> They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. Ooh. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. <laughs> I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen. Just don't get in soon. trouble, okay? <laughs> you just wait. Let's go. I don't like that doctor. I don't trust that doctor. Hey, handsome. This, this is this is how we jump in real life. Ugh. So when I first got this game, I was young, right? I was like, probably. You hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Probably about uh, Magic Sage. Super Turbo Pump Turkey Puncher Three. And my computer was so old school, I couldn't run this. It was like really laggy. Yeah, so those suits arrived too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. Attention, Dr. Braddock. Please report to Environment to Management Kelly Office A7. for Alpha. Took your sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. You'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. 
No, oh, jeez. So angry at me. What did I ever do to him? Attention, UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credit? You hear what Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. The UAC for more details. cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. Hey, hey, Joseph, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I think we do have his thing. I'm not 100% sure. Let me see. Adam's right here. Yeah. Five, four, three. No, that's not it. He might just say it to us, actually. Can't remember. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. Checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. I just thought People that I would and a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is oh, for sure. just plain creepy. That's what I'm I used to do, too. expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. There we go. Gotta take those bullets. We need them. Football turkey turbo puncher three. Hola. ¿Qué tal, amigo? ¿Cómo estás? How are you, my friend? Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. This is probably the ugliest handgun in the world, okay, honestly. Marsec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction and straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see Why the not, right? Paper, that's what I say. Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot it. You gonna go take a shower? All right, you go take a shower, my hey, friend. You're looking for the scientist, right? I am. I'm not sure you want to find him. Why you not? You see, uh, uh, never mind. No, you can't do that. Tell me. Don't listen to me. Oh, fine. Never mind. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Oh, I can't remember the code he told me. I don't want to listen to it again. <laughs> Five, three, one. Might be this one, actually. Yeah, that's it. You maintenance guys not keep any of these machines running. I hear what you're saying for sure. That's really nice, though. It's really nice. I know how I feel. It makes me happy. Some people get gets them extremely happy. Hey, you're that new guy headed for the old 
I took his gun. Uh, you don't need it, right? I'll take it. I'm okay at it. It's a couple of codes I don't hey, remember. Marine, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Hey, Bala, what's up, buddy? But thank you, I appreciate it. Let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. Oh, God! I can't hold these levels. Sergeant Kelly, we're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. Uh oh. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. <laughs> that was me back in the day too. Leaders give sit rest. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo team. We got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We have two down Alpha Land. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power screws down at sub level. Back up with my support systems only. We got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Oh, he scared me. I always forget he comes up. <laughs> hey, Fanic, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Okay, no problem, Gina. Take care. Zombies. Hey, Jesse. Oh, 
No problem, buddy. Enjoy the movie. I haven't watched the first ones. Maybe I should. Gotta get him right away or he can have bad time. How you doing, Arkham? So this is the code I never remember. I don't know if it's if it's this thing right here, two eight nine. I'm about to find out. Dying. <laughs> Precisely, Kinky. How you doing, King? Shadow stream <laughs> What's up Raiders? How's it going? Welcome. Welcome <clears throat> How's it going my friends? What were you guys doing? I know you guys were I saw that you guys were doing Splatoon Were you guys still doing that one? This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Oh, while wow, you were working, nice. Information problems continue to play Welcome, guys. Process. Ugly Stewie. More valve overloads Cora, hello. Pink Lady, thank These you for the raid. destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today, we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response... Can someone grab with their link and our procedure Post it for me. failure code 842 and the operation terminal has proved adequate and I recommend no changes in that procedure. He's not giving me any any codes. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain... Ooh, scary! Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. Get it? Oh, hell. <laughs> That's right, it's Shadow's birthday, is it not? This weekend, on Sunday. Sunday, right, Shadow? Oh! Oh, he scared me. 
Well, and we gotta sing happy birthday. Everybody, everybody hashtag happy birthday to Shadow if you haven't already. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shadow or Dan. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. Enjoy all the birthdayness. Do all the craziness. Behave. And, uh, yeah. Make sure you get a nice Christmas term from Pink Lady. Hint, hint. Just say open wide, woman. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> No, I'm not. Nice headshot. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Oh, jeez. I always forget he pops up. They're mean as a If you don't have a clear path back to HQ, stock up on the stronghold, keep them at bay. and set up a CP there. Out. Oh, scary. The shotgun guys do massive amount of damage. Oh. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine HQ and wait for their order. Whew. Take a breather. Whew. We hit 20 likes, guys. Remind me tomorrow. Uh, maybe if we stream during the day, I don't know yet. I mean, we got do we do have taco cast we can wait for taco cast as well all remaining marine units this is sergeant kelly i am unable to reach my city from my current position move to marine hq to regroup and await further orders <laughs> no we can't get up there we have to go this way hey you i thought i was the only one still alive I can't believe I found you. It's funny. I don't know what it, it was like a shock wave. He can't believe he found me. The entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. Be careful. I don't know what's in there. Just take the vowels, take the vowels from A Night at the Roxbury. They're really good. Let me read them to you. <clears throat> Dear Tiffany, we went on some dates. You let me have sex with you. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> It'll make her cry every time. <laughs> Oops, wrong button.
Ow. Yo, Dabbing King, what's up, buddy? How you doing? We need to be careful, guys. Specialist Wilson, my team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. How you doing, Dabbing? What's new and exciting, buddy? Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look for last known RP and fortify your position. You'll find you. I'm good. I'm good. Loving some doom right now. Oh, scary. Scary, scary. I can't wait till we get to the really good part. Oh, jeez. Stupid zombie. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. See? <laughs> Another one. No matter how many times you play this game... When you put it down for a long time, you forget. This one and the next... And the next weapons that we get are my favorite. You'll see. I just don't know what to do. What are these things? I don't know, but stay where you are. Don't let anyone in that room. This thing... For the stream, yeah, I turned it off. It gets really distracting when I'm doing spooky streams. How come I don't remember half of these zombies being there? there? Should be a monster right here. This poor guy, he got half his face eaten. This is Mark Stanton. Manifest controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It's quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest, but whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Dang, that guy's pissed. Okay, let's see. Um, where is the guy's code? I think he's in... Yeah, he, he talks about it. I think it's right here. Dr. Mark Casey. At 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. 
Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Casey and out. There we go. Ow. Jerk. I did nothing to him. So there's a secret here, guys. Let's go over here. Grab this puppy right here. And this one should give us another code. It's a security center. So it's uh five eight four. Actually, funny thing is, if you know this code right at the beginning, 584, you can actually get in and get your weapons really early in the game. Oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> God, everyone has their card in the chat. Jesus. Scared me. <laughs> Shit, give me a heart attack. Oh, man. <laughs> That's scurry. <laughs> Video link up requested. Connection Mar established. Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return oh, to the city. All passages out of the bio raid. Been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. Hey, Monitor what's up, man? How you doing, buddy? You were streaming today? I didn't get the notice. Your mission to link up with Bravo team and get How'd it go today, my friend? Sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job and good luck, Marine. Jaquan, guys, is another lovely streamer. Definitely go check him out. He's super nice. Very nice. Took the time to rate us. We can take the time to check his channel out. If you guys can, one of you guys can grab his link for me. I'm gonna miss you guys when I leave for vacation. I can't believe it's already here. Like, it just felt like yesterday. Who will I miss the most? That's easy. You don't even have to ask. So simple. I'll tell you who I'm going to miss the most. My computer. <laughs> Marine. 
If you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. So funny story behind that behind that uh, mirror so believe it or not this mirror here it's showing you your character getting possessed but because your character so so mentally strong and like perfect look poop that's a big giant poop um he doesn't get possessed hence why they send out another imp to come get you what's up falcon how you doing buddy Look at his belly. This is when they were just getting the physics for... Ow! You shot me! It's like my R2-D2. Get to Bravo too quick. Need all the firepower that we get. Whoa! Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. <sighs> Told you, man. Those shotgun guys give you a nice punch in the face. Jeez, I almost died. And that's why we play on veteran, guys. There's one more above, it's Nightmare, but you have to beat it on Veteran before you can unlock Nightmare, unfortunately. Unless you use cheats, but I'm not a cheater. <laughs> once, I've beaten it once. Rudy the Duck, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and 
you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. <laughs> Chadley the understand. Duck, what's going on? <laughs> okay, I was about to say, how's your dad? <laughs> designated phase one by the Union Aerospace <coughs> Off-World Research Division. <laughs> on October 29th, 2095, and became fully operational July 17th, 2130. Originally created as the Prime Science and Research The fact that they're even drawing pentagrams, Ryan's still like. Bothers me a little bit. How old is this child? <laughs> oh! Have us have a talk with his mother about this. How dare you? Okay, not that one. So maybe this one. Five, eight, six. Oh, we got grenades, boys. I love the fact that you can hear fighting up in the background. He came from the side and died because of my grenade. That's awesome. <laughs> Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. <coughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. Mm, poor guy. So how are you, Chadley? How's your how's your weekend going, my friend? Sometimes you can get past that area. Oh, yeah, go get some sleep then, Chadley. Go rest. Don't worry, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow.
Camping's fun, just hard on the back. I know, trust me, my back is still recovering from that. I'm just glad that I was able to help us. I went to surgery. Pew pew. <laughs> this for me, the scariest monster is coming up now. Because he's so darn fast. Pinky, pinky demons. Gotta be fast. Whew. This one you need to go on the website, unfortunately. That's the only way I can get the code for it. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, anybody? <laughs> it's, uh... I think it's called martianbuddy.com. Let me see. Uh, Would you like to put it? And yeah, martianbuddy.com. And then I can get this stuff. It's usually like really good weapons. Zero five oh eight. Yeah, see? Oh yeah. Marine, Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp.
access the system somewhere else. All right, let's go. Oh, no rain. That's awesome, Chadley. All weekend it's been raining. Well, not all weekend. All week it's been raining. So that's nice that you got a chance to get no rain. Definitely gonna have to check them out. I'm gonna look at them too. Nice! He has the vibe? How did that go? My brother's telling me to try out the... To try out the, um... Oh, what do you call it? The Legend of Zelda VR stuff. He said he tried it and it's awesome. On the actual headset for the um, for the PSVR. Well, welcome back. are responsible for the development of leading edge technology such as the elemental phase deconstructor yeah on the psvr no 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 like what you have to do apparently he was like tell me you take some of the like you take the plugs from the vr and then you like plug it into the switch hdmi section and then you take that and you plug it into like just a bunch of plugins that you do to itself and then you put it on and it becomes the actual VR. So I really want to try it. Gun shells, grenades. We did it. The 
This is an over glorified camera. <laughs> In a sense. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. Hit you with my flashlight. There was a way to turn on the lights. Oh, just by pushing it, okay. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Maybe we don't want to. Of course it does, but I'll be ready for it when I get back. We can definitely. <laughs> we can definitely do it again. Thank you for the blessings. Hey, Ellie, long time no see. How you doing? Yeah, that's what my brother was saying. He's like, you, you can't control the camera, but... Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring islands. Make up of all the hills of our We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide. Zero, zero what's up you know what Steffi I had it I had it up to here with your attitude no ice cream for you <laughs> I wonder if it would let you Maybe that would be cool. I always said if I had the money, I would definitely get the vibe. Just so I could do more VR stuff on the PC. Like VR with this game is awesome, I've heard. I've always wanted to do it. This is Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the super Listen to this story. This one's, this one's, this one's, for Kyle Berger, this one's creepy. For uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber. 
and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's like you know, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex action. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stopped one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of You gave your dagger back. Dang. That sucks, Zero. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. I hope you feel better soon. Warning. EPD laser active. Alex, what's up, buddy? How you doing? We're almost at 30 likes, guys. I'm so so awesome. Thank you very much for all the likes. I'm a little shooken up, but I'll be okay. Having some water and just taking my mind off it to calm down. GG, that's the best thing you can do. I know that feeling way too often. My stomach hates greasy stuff, like... When I mean greasy stuff, I mean like saturated with grease. Because then what happens is I just... Yeah. I'm in... I'm up all night. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. J JL raid. Hey, what's up, Ariana? How are you? We're being raided by JL. What? Welcome, raiders. How you doing, JL? How's it going, buddy? How was Mario Maker? Hey, Brandy. How are you? How's it going, Brown? Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you for the raid, my friend. You guys made it for my spooky streams. I thought there was a secret here. You guys, JL's an awesome streamer. He's a good friend of my fellow Canadian. Definitely want to go check him out. He took the time to raid us. We could take the time to check his channel out.
it was too vanilla to i i felt the same way i was like after seeing all that i was like oh i really want the new one now <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, Ariana. I've been missing you, but I know you needed some time, so it's fine. I hope you're doing better, honey. Nasty. All right, buddy. Take care. Thank you for the for the raid. Oh, <laughs> I almost said thank you for the stream. Thank you for the raid, JL. Take care, buddy. Well, I'm off. Enjoy the stream. Okay, no problem, Cora. Have a good night, hun. I don't know what I would do if that happened. I'm walking down and all of a sudden this monster just appeared out of nowhere to eat my brains. Okay, Chadley, take care, buddy. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. HR incident report. Wait. This was uh, EPD. Okay, so HR and audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was when John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems, he was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. That's what you did. Managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is one in a pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume it will be blown out as well because according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate end of blog. <laughs> you shouldn't laugh when you shoot people, people. No! Oh, I killed myself because I got too close to the edge. <sighs> There's a piece of armor there that I wanted to grab. I'm way at the beginning. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communication quickly is imperative. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Next.
guess he he was gone. Shotgun guys, man. What was it? Seven, five, three, or something like that? Laser active. Hmm. Really? Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far... I haven't been pulled over in forever. Impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. <laughs> It was not a pretty sight as it took off the backside of his head. Last time for me was I was 21. Minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth and he was trying to talk. Although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was just reflections. <laughs> anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab. And we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 7 Five, two. Seven, five, two. Seven, five, two. I think so. I've been pulled over once this the year I bought my car I was gonna say this year the year I bought my car but just for them to ask me what year it was and how nice it was that's it <laughs> no but they were actually looking for someone who had robbed um so where I work they robbed the jewelry store and they just said it was a blue car they pulled off turned out to be a blue van so that was the only reason why they pulled me over get pulled over harassed threatened or arrested people know exactly what cop you're talking about oh geez
I mean, we don't have too many issues with cops here. At least in my area. Most of them are pretty just. Lake stopped. Fire extinguished. Uh, it, unfortunately, it's cops like him that make other people hate cops. You guys ever see the video so there's a group of people protesting that cops are bad and they need better law and then they're blocking the road and people are trying to drive and one lady got ha, ha, was sick of it and she started slowly driving and then they all started hitting her car so she zoomed off and she knocked over a pedestrian who was in the protest and they all turned around and there was cops there right but they all turned around and go to the cops hey 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 help us help us and then the cop got up and was like funny weren't you just protesting that you didn't need cops that cops are corrupt <laughs> friggin people sit there and protest that cops are bad and they don't need cops and then when things go bad they need them All right. See, it was this I was trying to grab, but I don't need it now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Excuse me.
that's the thing, right? And in the end, the girl tried to sue the driver. And the judge was like, you guys were scaring her. You know, you, got, you guys were blocking traffic, first of all, which is illegal. And you were banging on her car. So technically, it's self-defense in her end. So they dropped the case. She's like, yes, she was mad, but you guys were hitting her car. What, a, what is the woman supposed to do, right? I would have done the same thing. Get out of here, bang on my car. Only banging that should be happening is in the backseat of my car. Jeez. <laughs> I've become quite the good bros with, say, officers at the school. Cherish, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Some cops are really cool. I have cop friends that are cops, and they're really cool. My one friend went to high school with her. She's super awesome. How you doing, Cherish? Welcome to Dom. Dom Tres, to be exact. all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The hydrocon's blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful with that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. I always felt bad for that guy. I'm gonna save it right here. We don't want to do all that again. Got kind of scared from that. No, no worries. I get scared from little things in this game, too. I played it so many times. Like this part here. button okay but i once saw it put this way if cops never did anything wrong people wouldn't be protesting i mean there's no song called what the fire department <laughs> For 
century. Problem, well, yeah, exactly what what Ryan just said. The also the other thing we have to remember. Produces oxygen and hydrogen. One of the biggest things that I, not usually to such an extent. The thing about it is, we, we as people, give cops a lot of authority, and then people are stupid too because they think they are more knowledgeable and more higher than authority too. See, the thing about it, this is where, where I get angry for, for some cops because people like to push cops' buttons. They're assholes to them. And it would be one thing if it was just, you know, the cop says, you know, can you give me your registration? And the person says, you know what? Um, I don't, blah, 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 something nice, right? The problem is as soon as a cop kind of lifts their voice, the person, reacts to them even harder or is a lot more rude exactly so um exactly steffi so in my opinion i mean i've never been a jerk to cops i've been stopped just cuz and i've always been very respectful to them and they've never been harsh to me Especially being Latin and that's in the States. They've never been disrespectful to me and only once or twice They've ever asked me. What are you doing? And I'm very nice to them and then the next thing you know their attitude changes quickly very quickly The moment they that you turn around and be like, why do you care? What do you expect is gonna expect gonna happen? Do you think that person is gonna turn around and be it's like you talk bad to a teacher back in my day and That teacher like automatically go to the principal. They didn't respect you it's the same situation. You know, if a cop clocks me for speeding, I speed on, well, I'm busted. But if they abuse the power, then yeah, I'll bring down the roof. Well, I mean, again, you have to understand where you're coming from, right? People fight over a kilometer, or in my case, a kilometer over the speed limit. It doesn't matter. The speed limit says 50 or 35 in your area. And you're going one over you're still speeding whether you want it or not so i mean you can't turn around i wasn't speeding i wasn't even if he's trying to abuse his power just respect the guy because here's the thing here's the thing that a lot of people don't know you accept that ticket you turn around you fight the ticket in court about 80 percent of cops don't show up they don't show up to those courts. I fought three tickets like that and none of them have showed up. None. So instead of making a big fuss about a ticket, just, okay, I'm sorry, I was speeding. My apologies. And 90% of the time when you just accept it, they'll turn around and be like, you know what? I'll just let you off with a warning. Just be careful, okay? Or they'll just like turn around and be like, don't worry about it and then just leave you alone. But if you're going to fight about it, you're asking problems. A lot of the time it's when you're fighting about it. A lot of the times you know I've seen like I said I've seen way too many videos that the cop is just barely stopping someone and already the woman or the man oh, what are you stopping me for what are you stopping me for huh what do you I know my rights it's like shut up just listen to the guy for a few seconds you know <laughs> chill listen for a few seconds and then the per and then you can you can justify your fighting but no, instead of listening, they cause a big ruckus or, you know, another time in Toronto, they be a Spanish couple. You watch the video, it's like, all oh, those bad cops. But then you're listening to what the couple is doing. The cop is asking, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? He, they ask like seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 times. And they're not responding. Instead, they're just getting angry at them. Finally, they had enough. Tased them both. Boom, done. You know, and in the end, the cops were in just in the just slow your jet listen first and process because sometimes what's going on is a lot easier to just walk away 
than to fight. Simple as that. But no, in this day and time, people feel, and young pe young generation, this generation, feels that they need to fight about every single thing. I get it all the time on my street. And Ellie, I've seen, I've seen teachers abuse um, autistic kids. I've seen just because an adult does it doesn't necessarily mean the whole world. And this is where I get at. It's the same thing like I told somebody once. Um, sometimes, not all the time. And let's give an example. Cops, for example, a cop, I'm, he's not going to look at a child and say, you're autistic. They don't know. So if things happen, they don't find out till after it's happened. You know? It, until after it happens. And that's where and that's where a lot of injust, injustice now. Again, I'm not defending them because a lot of cops are corrupt and a lot of them will do certain things to bug because they have power. But what I'm saying is sometimes you have to look at the other way. People just look at the videos and they're seeing either the mid side, the mid section before it happened, or people are seeing the end cause. They don't see the full picture. You gotta look at the full picture and then realize, okay, that's what happened. Again, teachers abuse all the time mentally ill kids, but not everybody's yelling at the teachers. Not everybody's writing songs about the teachers. Not everybody's saying, fuck the teachers, you know? A lot of parents abuse the crap out of their kids. But yet, there's n there's nothing going on out there protesting. Parents are rude. Not at all. So, the fact of the matter is, it's everywhere. The problem is, it's easier to attack a law enforcement who's just trying to do his job versus a teacher who's going to teach you or a parent. It's just how it is. All right, we're in the next section, guys. We're moving along quite well, actually. What? No, you didn't. Uh, no, you didn't. Go. Mm -hmm. Oh. He knocked me a new one. He knocked me a new one. See, but Ellie, you're doing the same thing what I just finished saying. You're missing the point. I just finished giving huge examples of this, and you're still focused on the fact of the cop. You're just you're you're, you're not you're not looking at what I just finished saying. It doesn't matter if it was art artistic or not. You know, it, it's the fact that you're 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 doing it one way instead of listening. Well, he makes a point because teachers do it. They, no, 
it's like no but no, he was autistic and he beat him it doesn't matter the fact of the matter is it happens with the pub the general public but let me tell you this if you if you get mad at a cop What's the first person you're gonna run to when somebody beats you up? What's who's the first person you're gonna run to when when someone gets shot? Have you gotten back to the area where I oh I passed that already, Steffi. We're in the new area now. Whoa! Jesus Christ, he scared the crap out of me. Oh! I forgot about him. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about him. That was scary. Look, I pull I pull <laughs> I pull guns out of my ass. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> watch, watch, watch. <laughs> This, this, let's just uh let's just stick some weapons up here and there we go hello, hello. Is this reaching anyone i'm broadcasting on a very low frequency if you can hear me I'm not far please help me i've locked myself in storage room c4 please if anyone can hear me please help me poor guy I would be so terrified too. I would be so terrified. A true Hasman, right? I'd be so terrified. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, scary. Scary. Okay, so what we're gonna do now So now they um unlocked it. Okay, we don't have a lot of time to breathe. And I'm pretty sure what we have to go is a little bit further, so we gotta be careful. Is there anything we can get here? Eight sided die and tweaks. Uh, no code. Storage, here we go. So cabinet 38 is 409. Remember that. 409. Oh, we made it. I could have swore it was a lot longer. I guess I was wrong. 409, like the cleaner. <laughs> How do they not see me? I'm up here. Hello. Hello, flashlight. I think it's this one. 409. Oh, 
team reports they've located your position but are unable to move to your current location. Head through engineering and try to link up with them in Sector 3. Oh, get out the corner. Look at my flashlight. I love the flashlight. Does anybody have a flashlight? <laughs> Do you really, Ryan? I've always wanted to buy one. Thought it'd be, uh, have a good night. Um, I thought it'd be a nice little present for myself. <laughs> oh, this dude. Don't shoot. Uh, I can help you. The lights are all out. Uh, I'll lead you through here if you can get me off this base. Okay, Zero, take care, buddy. Have a good night. Thank you for joining us, my friend. Come on, okay. I can't wait. Shush, hold on. We're reading. So, uh, no need to remember my code for cabinet 39, 102. So, 102. You guys get it? What are you playing on? On the PC. Uh, and difficulty is veteran. Big one could knock out our lights. Come on, I can't wait. Hurry up, we can't stop. Shut up. Uh, this is my copy. Using Steam because I, I popped the code in, but this is the, the original one, this isn't the BFG one. BFG one's kind of broken graphically and just overall. I do have the BFG one, but I, I like this one better. This one. I like the vanilla one. What was that? You can. You never noticed. Come on, I can't wait. Yeah. Trying to, we're trying to get to 4K. We're almost there. We're at 3830. We're moving along. Hang on. Here comes another. So, Derek, how's your night going, buddy? How was the lovely Esposita and all the kids? Oh, thank God it's dead. 
Listen, I'm protecting you, brah. Brah, you don't even know, brah. There's the exit. I've tried saving them many times. I'll put cheat codes and all that jazz and yeah, you can't save them, unfortunately. Oh, what was it? 102? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Kids are there just resting it up. hate this area. Oh, I feel you, buddy. I've had one of those weeks, too. Okay, hold on. We gotta save it, because I die all the time in this area. fell in your chair you're good okay that's good as long as you're good that's the important thing We got him. Spiders are the worst. something that megamind says he's like oh the spider's new the spider what oh oh yes the spiader <laughs> one bite from arachnus <laughs> i love megamind it's so good the officer told me why i are going fast back there and i told them i smell bacon so i have to speak <laughs> there's one that Leave me alone!
officer told me once why do you know why i stopped you i said uh i don't know i was going in the flow of traffic the officer looked at me and said um sir there is no traffic i go precisely i'm trying to catch up <laughs> what's up epic how you doing buddy Do, do, do. I'm good. We're good. Just trying to get sleep without much lurk, uh, without much luck. Oh, I saw that as an R. Warning. Without Toxins much luck. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Not much you can do when that happens. I hate it. I hate that feeling. Seeing there squiggling like a little worm trying to figure out why. Why can't I sleep? Do, 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 But I always appreciate the like, so thank you very much for that one. Toxic gas levels decreased 50%. Only for a moment and the moment's gone. Just in the holy shoot. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't remember that that guy comes out either. <laughs> Just a drop of water in an endless sea. I thought I hit the deer when I took back. It was a lamp. <laughs> Let's see. This is Operations Coordinator Mark Lamia. Okay. Dated November 1st, 2145. Okay. I'm filing this report because I am frustrated beyond belief by the level of incompetency I have to deal with here. I don't know where HR is getting the new employees, but the last five guys they've sent me were all a bunch of idiots. They can't get any of their work done on time. I constantly have to keep an eye on them. They work slow. They don't follow any of the standard operating procedures, and they can't even remember basic things that I tell them. For example, I changed the cabinet door codes here to one. That was easy enough to remember, but they still forgot. I don't understand why HR can't get me better people. I'm requesting full authority to hire and fire my own employees. It's the only way I can run my department smoothly. In the block. He was very, very upset. No worries, buddy. Take care. Have a good night. Go get some rest. You need it. I once sat here, picked up every bot, the bodies, picked up this guy, picked up all this, threw it down the waist. Yep. It was fun.
<laughs> All my co-workers suck. Um, we're being invaded by demons. Doesn't matter. I need new co-workers. Demons can wait. Please and thank you. Jeez, man. We got one month left. Give me good employees, damn it. Hey, I like that. Fire your boss. Except if I'm your boss. Don't don't fire me. Love me. Love me, love me. Say that you love me. Jeez, I gotta save. I'm gonna die. I am, I am, that's why. Don't, don't, don't fire me. I'm a good boss. I'll let you have as many vacations as you want. Heck yeah, you can have vacation. Do special favors for me and you'll have extra vacation. And time and a half. <laughs> That's creepy. You hear that? That means you, Ryan. <laughs> okay, okay. Shh, shh. Creepy, 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 creepy. I'm gonna take a look at it in a minute.
man. Demons everywhere, man. Oh, and I ran out of... What would you call... What gun is this? Machine gun. Okay. Just a machine gun. I thought there was a specific weapon. We made it through, guys. GG. <sighs> Think you can keep up with me? Okay. Taking a quick look here. Let me see where did you put it in memes That's so good. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? That wasn't just me. That was creepy. You need him. It's good. It's a good idea to save him. He gives you a very, very, very big gun. Okay, so the guy, the guy scrubbing the car, and he goes, "Mom, it's not coming out." And he goes, "Oh my God, Anthony!" You know, and in Spanish, "echale huevo" means like, uh, "give it some balls." You know, like really scrub it. <laughs> He's like, "Okay." goes comes back and then he has a uh, egg starts scrubbing it with the egg <laughs> have a good night arkham i love you know that <laughs> have a good night arkham have a good night buddy thanks for getting me out of there no problem trapped in the chamber when the power went out i don't know what's going on here I don't understand why none of the systems are responding. I'm going to try to get an uplink into the main system. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. those guys man not as much as I hate these guys I don't know if you guys remember 
but back in the day when you used to install when you used to install a game they would show you different clips of the game as it installed Those were the days. I remember the Doom. They would show you the pictures of the of the spiders, the Ark Demon, like all these great images. Crap, he scared me. Save it. Well, ray tracing, but. Mm, nope, no ray tracing in this game. scary but you get all this stuff so it's worth it it took my baby marine base schematics show all passages out of your area blocked the only way through is by traversing the efr mechanical subsystem with two possible routes through activating the system will get you a direct route but it's dangerous extending the service bridges is safer but the lighting systems are fried Make a choice. Good luck. Okay, guys. You have a choice. We can activate the system. Go the hard way. Or extend the bridge. It's safer, but it takes a lot longer. What do you guys think? I'm thinking maybe we go through the system. Short and sweet. Let's do it.
get go go judges gotta save it we don't want to fall and start all over again Ugh. We're dying. I remember that, like, you walk up and then you go into the section and Oh, Murphy's Law Raid. We're being raided by Murphy. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hello, Lindsay. How are you? So, you guys remember the beginning of this one, right? Um, you walk across everything, and then you go down. There's that guy who's sitting there, and he's like, I don't think you want to go back there. Never mind. Well, in the other one, you walk across... You. You walk to the guy, he tells you where to go, you turn around, it's literally a door right beside it, you go in, then all of a sudden, the guy's just standing there waiting for you, and he goes, hello. <laughs> and he's just like, what? Hey, Claire, how are you? <gasps> oh, I died. I died. How are you, Claire? Thank you for the raid, man. John Z, what's up? Awesome possum, hello. What's up, guy James? What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid. Murphy, how are you, my friend? Guys, Murphy's an awesome streamer. Definitely go check him out. He's a good friend of mine. You will love his content. Hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Devante, what's new? Um, we're playing Doom, my friends. God of Destruction. Love that name. Love that name. Anyways, definitely go and sub to him. He took the time to raid us. We could take the time to check his channel live. And if you don't go check his channel out, I'm going to be very, very sad. Have a good one, Jolly. Take care. I'm playing on the PC. Ah. 
Ow. The heck did I do to him? Later, buddy. Thank you again, my friend. Super awesome raid. Is there a Spanish word for dude? Um, it depends. There's, there's a couple of words for dude. Um, there's, the one that I use is... Uh, is uh yeah bato or way Dudo. <laughs> really, Steffi Dudo? I thought you were going to say El Dudo. <laughs> Dudo. So, Devante, you talented man, you. How is life treating you, my friend? By the way, guys, we made it to 40 likes because of the epicness raid. That is awesome. Man, why does Murphy have to be so awesome with us? Have a holly jolly. Don't forget, guys, we have Taco Cast coming up tomorrow. Super excited. scared myself there all right, all right let's let's save it we're gonna keep going this part's a little difficult for me you'll probably see me die a couple of times here hello again gina Wow, we made it through. We barely survived. 7 HP. <sighs> Mama Gina brought me luck. 
<laughs> you know I haven't seen in a while, Mama Gina? How's Yuki? I miss the girl. Bravo team, entry secure. Move in and take positions. Quiet. Did you hear that? This is late. Give me status. Always clear. There's nothing here, Sam. Go on! What the hell? Operation temperature exceeding safe levels. Marine, Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. They were carrying a military transmission card. It's vital you retrieve that card as it contains encoded data needed to send the distress signal to the fleet. For the last Hi, Yuki! Reinforcements. Find that card and find it fast. How are you, hon? I've been missing you. Since you've been gone. Away. Little sentry, I love him. Attention, all personnel evacuate You ever played this game, Claire? No. <laughs> oh, they broke my sentry. Well then, just when the little creature was helping me. I think we're getting to the uh, creepiest monster in the game, in my opinion. Hola, como estas? <laughs> oh dingo 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 everyone hashtag dingo in the chat what's up buddy <laughs> hmm. pinky is but you'll see why i mean this one's creepy and he's not creepy well in my opinion he's not creepy because he's scary he's just creepily designed how you doing buddy They blew up the thing around me. 
That sucks. Oh, we didn't even... Well, that's okay. We can start from here. We weren't far anyways. Operation temperature exceeding safe levels. Marine, Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. They were carrying a military transmission card. It's vital you retrieve that card as it contains encoded data needed to send the distress signal to the police. For the last hope to get reinforcements. Find that card and find it fast. the second time he shot me what the heck man I ain't missing you at all. Missing you. Since you've been gone. Don't touch this or you'll lose one finger. Oh, there it is. Best weapon. Love this weapon. hate this this monster I hate Okay, 
let's grab the thing. This is the audio log of weapon analyst Teresa Chazar, dated November 3rd, 2145. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab's molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal I of think this is her. the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. I would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the Enpro plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra <sighs> ammo in locker 063 That's good. Thank you. with door code 972. End of lock. 972. There you go. Wait, so... I don't know. My favorite game of all time? Oh, that's so hard to answer. It's so hard. There's so many good games out there. Hazard doors sealed. Please contact plant management for immediate assistance. Warning. Reactor core temperature 235 degrees Celsius. That's hot. That's hot. Warning. Reactor core temperature beyond acceptable levels. Marie, you gotta find that transmission card. If Swan gets his hands on it, I don't know what he'll do. Jeez, man. They aren't being very nice. <laughs> they aren't ve being very nice, are they? They're being naughty. Oh, good. I got... Oh, shoot! Reactor 
Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. We almost died again. Close calls every time. Do you see the card? No, sir. Okay, let's get to the communications facility. We can start the transmission from there. Whatever you say, counselor. I just refilled my health and I'm almost dead again. <laughs> I heard noises. I'm like, I'm out of here. I left a lot of health. Thank goodness. Wow. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong button. I'm gonna smack him with my flashlight. Scared me.
explosions everywhere. Plasma storage. Oh, what was that? What was that um code for the plasma storage? I don't remember it. I'm gonna have to hear it again. This is the audio log of weapon analyst Teresa Chazar, dated November 3rd, 2145. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab's molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal of three times the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. I would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the Enpro plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I've locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 972. End of lock. No, that's not the code for this one then. Hmm. Guess we just count our losses on that one. I'm really hoping the BFG wasn't in that room. Hey, over here. We were hit. I don't know how much farther I can go. Here, take the transmission card. We can't stay here. Safe. We better move. Are you streaming tomorrow, Claire? Another one bites the dust. Oh, there it is, right there. Steve Hammer, service technician. Since Private Swenson wigged out, shot up that drink machine, then lit himself up with a plasma gun, we've all been a bit nervous. All of us in maintenance knew he was losing it. Finally, when that darn drink machine wouldn't accept his credits, he lost it. Started swearing up and down, and you had to laugh when that machine lit up. But before any of us could react, he fed himself enough plasma to power an office building. There wasn't enough head to clean up. Just vapor. It's a bad thing to happen to anyone. Anyway, I know with all the psych problems we've had lately, we need the additional security, but when the guards start going nuts... I don't know, all this extra weapons and ammunition... I mean, do we really need so much firepower laying around? Well, a couple of us decided to lock up all of the unsecured plasma rounds we could find. The code is 734. I think we'll all sleep a bit better tonight knowing it's locked up. That's a lot of plasma ammo right there. Good thing we came back for it. What are you what are you gonna play tomorrow, Claire? There we go, guys. Another section done. All right. Let's give it a quick save, just in case. Now, I hear you. <clears throat> I'm tempted to do 100% of green of time under 12 hours. 
Oh, you could totally do it. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. And I'm slow. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and raid. Uh, who should we raid? Let's see. Hmm. Do you guys want to watch Earthbound? Or Days Gone? Mm. I think we should do Earthbound, eh? It's fine. I never do him. Let's do him. I never, never rate him. So let's go ahead. And all right, guys. Thank you all for joining the stream today. I super appreciate it. We had some awesome raids <clears throat> from Mayo, Mayo, from um, Murphy. Who else raided? Like we had a bunch of raids today like two or three raids so that was awesome okay let me go ahead and plop up the um window capture here Bloop. and it's not showing we want these gone there we go uh skip this so kenny is playing days gone let's go ahead and give him a raid I have to do it like this. So we'll do hashtag taco team raid. Let's go ahead and raid Kenny. Doesn't seem like it does. Don't get me started. So I wanted to play this now. I'm playing it. Oh, obviously, I want to play this. So press to silence your gun by attaching to press to select a category gun in the survival wheel and press R1 to attach it. Let's go ahead. right awesome thank you guys for joining the raid super awesome thank you all for joining me tonight i really appreciate it i hope you guys had fun as much as i did um tomorrow is sunday tomorrow is the last day my friends of streaming before i go on holidays i'm gonna see if i can do double streams i'm not gonna promise anything but we're definitely doing taco cast you don't want to miss taco cast we're talking predictions for e3 some new information that's come out that Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo are doing. So you definitely want to check it out. All right, guys. Thank you all for joining me. Take care. Have a good one. And don't forget the most important thing in the whole wide world. Come to my live stream. I'm super famous. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.